glad to be back with you. I hope you're having a fabulous day. And I just want to say, I have this fabulous idea, and I really wanted to share it with you, especially with you being on a weight loss journey. And this is something that I've actually implemented into my own life. Well, I call it my own lifestyle. I don't see, I'm, I'm one of those uh, people that have already been through, well, let's try the keto diet. Well, let's try, I don't know, cutting out the carbs or, you know, let's go completely vegan. And I've tried all these little things, which I'm sure you have probably done. And you found out that none of them really quite worked. Like there was pieces of the diets that were good because maybe it did help you trim your waist down a little bit or, um, you know, helped you feel more energetic, but was something you couldn't stick with. It wasn't a diet or that could convert into a lifestyle change, if you know what I mean. So this is what brings me to the topic today. We're going to talk about getting a baker's dozen. All right, and I'm not talking cookies now. I'm talking about a baker's dozen of good habits over bad habits. So let's get into this topic, a baker's dozen. This is what I did. I thought to myself, I got so sick and tired of all these diets. And I said, you know what? I'm not doing diets no more. I'm just going to start replacing my bad habits, my bad eating habits with my good eating habits. But I'm not going to do it all at once because I did try it one time doing it all at once and it just backfired miserably on me. So if you're one of those people that think, well, I'm in a hurry, I need to drop all this weight. I mean, you got to think long term. This is not just something you're going to do in 30 to 60 days and then you're done and then you go right back to the weight you were, if not gain more. This is something you need to implement into your life that is going to help you for the rest of your life, okay? It's a strategy. So what I did is I said, okay, I know I have bad habits, and I know I want to change, but what I need to do is I need to replace them one at a time. One at a time. I'm going to take out one bad habit that I have each month and I'm going to replace it with one good habit each month. So I am canceling the bad and putting in the good. And the reason I say one a month and not one a week or one a day is because there have been studies shown that if you do something consecutively for 30 days a month, it will turn into a habit. That's why. And a baker's dozen comes in, if you do one bad habit to one good habit, let's say January, February, March, all the way through the year, and the trick is not to just do one each month and forget about the one that you did before. You have to keep stacking your good habits that you've already accumulated from the past months to the end of the year. And then you got a baker's dozen of really good habits. So when you think about it, let's say for instance, let's use an example of um, always wanting to have cookies and milk. I don't know, you might get into ice cream or something. But you always want something, a dessert, right after dinner. So maybe not right after dinner, maybe it's a couple hours and you know, you know, you got an hour before you go to bed, but you're like, man, I really want a munchie. You know, I'm feeling like some ice cream, you know. So what do you do? You go downstairs, you make it a daily habit, and you go get ice cream. You get a bowl of ice cream, or you make it a habit to have a couple cookies with milk. And then you do this all the time. So instead of it being an exception, it becomes a rule. It rules your life. And this is why you've packed on the pounds throughout the year, because it was your it's your lifestyle. So what if you found a fruit, and I'm just using fruit for an example, could be yogurt, could be anything else you want to put in there as a replacement. But let's say you find a piece of fruit that you really enjoy the flavor and it has a sweet taste. 
so it can cure your sweet tooth. And then you go to the store for the month, let's say January, you say, I'm only going to eat this fruit after dinner for the next 30 days, or I'm going to mix up different fruits, but I'm not going to eat the ice cream or the cookies that I've done for the last God knows how many years. So you just keep doing that day after day after day, and you do it for 30 days. And now you're in the habit, hopefully, of eating just the fruit, which is better for you, and it, cra it satisfies your sweet tooth craving, versus the ice cream and the cookies. Now the trick here is don't go and buy the ice cream and the cookies when you're buying the fruit. You don't want these things in your household, okay? Because, you know, let's, let's be honest here, okay? Let's be honest. If you had the ice cream in the freezer right above your refrigerator, and you had your fruit, and you said, you know, I could just have a little scoop of that ice cream, and then I'll eat my fruit. It doesn't work that way. You will never get rid of that bad habit. So you're going to have to force yourself. You're going to be consciously aware when you're in the grocery store. You say, no more. I'm not buying that ice cream no more. I'm buying this fruit. Because I know in the long run, I want my health. And you just do it. And then, like I said, February... Let's say you have a bad habit of eating McDonald's burgers every day for lunch, right? Well, now you're going to find another healthier substitute for that hamburger. Maybe it's a turkey burger. You want to start that. Or maybe you want to completely replace your burgers with salads. Or at least maybe two or three times a week you want a salad. But whatever it is, you're going to start that habit in February. And then don't forget, you're still doing the fruit habit that you picked up in January. You see what I'm saying? Then you just keep rolling down the months all the way to the end of the year. And the next thing you know, you got a baker's dozen of good habits. And you've eliminated a baker's dozen of bad habits. So try it out. Tell me what you think. Drop me a line. And let me know. I'd be curious to see if you were able to implement this into your life and how you can make it a lifestyle change. I'll have another video up next that you can check out that's only if you're serious about getting your act together, girl, or dude, and getting your life to being healthy. Because I just want you to be healthy and happy in mind, body, and spirit. I hope you found value. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.